Do not just write the value without recording any narration. You don't have to narrate exactly the same way all of you, but narrate in a way that we understand that this, uh, uh, what do you call it? This, uh, this amount represent what? Okay. So add and for that, is it correct? Is it correct to narrate it as a cancel debit order there? Correct. Cancel debit order, still correct. Okay, and the value there is one double seven nine. The value there is one double seven nine. Now we go to number three. Number three says EFT payments total in 17218 have not yet been presented for payments to the bank. And we say this is an outstanding payment. This is an outstanding payment and it's outstanding at the bank. It's reflecting only in your cash book, but not in the bank. Now in the cash book, it's reflecting on the credit side because that's where you record the EFT payments. Now this EFT payments with the credit in your cash book is not reflecting in your bank statement. Now you need to record it in your bank statement. Is it a credit or is it a debit? Debit. Debit. One seven two one eight. Because it's a debit, you simply say less outstanding payment. Sorry, I, I got the, lost there for a the second. On the left hand side, where you wrote balances per bank statement, underneath that right less outstanding payment just underneath that right less outstanding because it's a debit a debit is a you're going to subtract it so we say less outstanding payment and then underneath one one four three one zero you write one seven two one eight just under it One seven two one eight. Just underneath it. One seven two one eight. See that? That's where you are going to record it. One seven two one eight. Less. Uh, Outstanding payment, 17218. You're going to record it like that. Now, as soon as you record it like that, then you say 114310 minus 17218. How much is your subtotal? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll come to that, uh, Safila. 114310 minus 17218. How much do you get? Ninety-seven zero nine two. Nine seven zero nine two. And then on the far left there, you just write subtotal. Now, Safira, what what I'm saying is, because we are using the standard format. You remember when you use the bank statement layout, the payments will always go to the left and the. Uh, the receipt will go to the credit side, which is the right hand side. Now we are using the standard format. The standard format is the one that I've shown you there on page 25 of your manual. That is the standard format. So in terms of the standard format, just only record one column. And then what you do is, if, it's a, if the transaction is supposed to be a debit, you will say less it or minus. If it's supposed to be a credit, you will say add or plus. And every time you minus or you add, you calculate your subtotals. Every time you minus or you add, you calculate your subtotals. As you can see here, you see that? Unfortunately, uh, they say the background is the problem there. But you will see there, I've got three values there. The balance, uh, that outstanding payment, 
and then I've got uh, uh, the subtotal. So that is basically how you will uh, deal with that transaction. I think it wanted me to have something. Can, can you show? Can you show your piece of paper, uh, advocate? Again, I can't see it correctly. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can find something a bit darker to write on. Okay, just quickly, I'll do it you just now. Okay, let me quickly do it. If you go okay. to the top of your screen and you see the three dots there, if you click on it, you can yes. turn off your background effects. Oh, background effect, more so action. Those three dots at the top, and then you go yes, to... I go to... I go to... It's the fourth setting from the bottom. Oh, from the bottom. Let me just go there. A turn off incoming video, dial pad, stop recording, turn on live caption. Is that apply, apply background the effect. And then, uh, yes, it gives me colors here. Which one do I choose now? Choose the one where it says like none. That way it says? So if you say apply background effects, there's a, like a circle with a slash through it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, click on that. Okay, I've clicked on that. Let me see. Let me see. And it says apply. Perfect. That's the first lesson. That's the first lesson, eh? Thank yes, you. Yes, it's clear. Yes, that's the first lesson. Thank you very much. That's that you see that there I said there the first the first transaction there I wrote with a pen is balance as per bank statement 114310 and I say less outstanding payment 17218. And then from there I say subtotal because it's 114310 less 17218 and subtotal. 97092. So that is how you deal with the uh, standard format. Okay. Okay. Now let's proceed and cut it uh, quickly. I see uh, we are running behind to be the case. Now that was number number. Well, we are number three. Yes, that was number three. Now let's look at number four. A deposit of three double one four made on the 30th of September 2020 is not reflected in the bank statement. Now this is a deposit. That's very important. It's a deposit. Credit. Mm -mm. You add. It's an income you, which was debited on the cash book. Yeah, it was supposed to be a, a, a credit in the bank a statement. It must be a credit in your bank reconciliation statement, correct? Because it's a yeah. deposit in your cash book. Now it must be a credit in your bank statement. Because it's a credit in your bank statement, you are going to say add, add. or plus. Yes. yes, add outstanding deposit. Add outstanding deposit in the amount of three double one four. And then you say nine seven zero nine two plus three double one four. How much do you get? One zero zero two zero six. One zero zero two zero six. Yeah. Okay. That's your subtotal again. That's your subtotal again. One double zero. Uh, your subtotal there. One double zero two zero six. That's how 
you are going to record so that one. Each time you add, each time you add an amount, you have to put a total. Yes, every time record the amount, uh, then put the subtotal of that. Whether you add or do less, record the subtotal. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. Now let's go to number five. An EFT for two seven three six drawn on the business account has been errantly paid by the bank from the trust account, and we are saying here this is a bank error. The bank has made an error, paid a business uh, uh, transaction out of the trust account, and we are saying the bank made an error, and because the bank made an error, the bank must fix the error. Isn't so, it must be fixed in our bank reconciliation statement the question is are you going to add it or are you going to less it we're going to you, you must add it on add, your... add it less it because the bank is correcting it's paying it back from where it took it uh, by me erroneously yeah. correct add bank error you can say add bank error business transaction Add bank error business transaction, and then that is the amount of 2736. And then after that, you say 100206 plus 2736. How much do you get? 102942. 102? 102942 as your subtotal length. 102942, and then you record it like that and you leave it for now. And now you've got that EFT reversal that you got from your client. EFT that you that was paid by your client, which has now been uh, <clears throat> reversed, and they say it has not been entered in your cash book. And we know that the bank is the one that can reverse. And then I say, because it's an EFT that you got from your client, it means it was initially a credit. Now, when the bank reverses it, it's going to be a debit in your bank statement. That means where in which account are you going to record it now? <clears throat> credit. Supplementary credit your supplementary cash book, yes. Uh, can, can we can we take it easy on that one, uh, advocate? Yes, I'll, I'm gonna explain it again, again. To reverse uh, that is seven three four. <coughs> I am saying. <coughs> Just quickly gonna do this. The bank statement. So the cash book first. Cash book and bank statement. And then that was an uh, you received this money here initially seven three four. And then it was created here seven three four. That was the EFT. That was how this transaction was initially. That's how this transaction was initially. It's a debit in your supplementary cash book and it was a credit in your bank statement because your client paid it directly uh, into your bank statement by crediting it into your bank statement. And then it was posted to the debit side of your cash book. Correct. Now they Correct. say, now they saying the bank reverses it. Now we come here and say reversal. Seven, three, four. Now when the bank reverses it, the bank is going to record it on the debit side as a reversal. Now as soon as the bank record that debit as a reversal, then we've got a problem in our cash book because in our cash book, we only have it recorded on one side. Now that debit in your bank statement does not have a mesh in your cash book, isn't so? True. That, True. That's why that's why we say 
you are going to credit your supplementary cash book with that 734. And as soon as it's credited here, reversal. 734. Now you've got that 734 on the debit side. You also have seven. Oh, oh, sorry, you've got 734 on the credit side credit of your side. cash book as it is on the debit side of your bank statement. That's why I'm saying you are going to record it here on the debit side of your supplement, so credit side of your supplementary cash book. That's why you record that uh, reversal, uh, reversed uh, EFT. Credit side of your supplementary cash book. Now the last transaction. An electronic transfer of 30,000 rand by a client has not been entered in the cash book. Electronic transfer. Debit, we are receiving. We are receiving, correct. You debit your supplementary, supplementary, supplementary cash, book. cash book. Yes, go to your supplementary cash book on the left hand side, which is the debit side. EFT payment. 30,000 rands. EFT payments, 30,000 rands. Now, we are done with those transactions. The last thing that you need to do is balance your books and say if your bank reconciliation balances. Now, let's go to our supplementary cash book on the debit side. I want you to add everything on the debit side from your side. Just add everything on the debit side. In your supplementary cash book and tell me how much is the total. Uh, please, please mute yourself. Can you mute yourself? We'll be done in the next two minutes. Please mute yourself. Two minutes will be done. Slova, can you mute yourself? Okay. Uh, just add the debit side. Giving me one oh three six seven six. Is that the amount that we get? One oh three correct six seven six. One correct. Yeah. Okay. One oh three six seven six. Can you subtract the credit side? Thank you, thank you, yes. Subtract the credit side. Could you want to? 102 Now you write on the credit side of your supplementary cash book, on the right hand side. Just write balance 102942. In your supplementary cash book, just write balance 102942. That's the balance in your supplementary cash book. Now let's go into your bank statement. Your bank reconciliation statement. What is the last transaction there? 102942. 102 four, 102942. You can simply balance. write, yes, you can simply write balance as per cash book. Balance as per cash book 102942. Mm. Now, as soon as you record that, you'll see that your bank statement and your cash book balances. That's what we want to see at the end of each and every month. Your bank statement and your cash book must always balance. Okay. Any question so far before we start tomorrow? That's very clear. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, just one last question. Yes, one, one last question. Um, there is always sold out. out. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to attend all of you one person at a time. 
Okay, can I go first? So she I can see to? that the balance as per cash book, it balances, but there's a, a, a portion on the bottom there that says format based on layout of bank statements. In your manual? Yes. Mm. Yes, yes. You'll yeah. see it also. The, the layout is the simply balance. showing you see that. which one must be credited, which one must be debited, yes. Yeah. Um, you see that? In your, let, let me just see your format based on the bank statement. You say, oh, okay, the bottom one here. So, but you'll this, see, so do we you'll have see to, that, is you'll this see that, that you would that, have to um, draft in the exam? No, you don't draft two, you draft only one, the one that we have done. Oh, okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, 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 can, I, can I help you on that one? Can I help you on that one? Yes. Uh, the one, the, the amount on the debit side, girl, it's, it's, that's why it's uh, reflecting in brackets. It shows that it's a minus. Yeah, I think yeah. putting it down here, it's making it clear that the amount on the debit side is supposed to be subtracted. Subtracted, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'll see uh, that, that one, one seven two one eight is on the debit side in the one at the bottom. Yeah. Correct. Sorry, advocate. Uh, just one little uh, question. What's the time yeah. allocation like for the exam? Uh, it's two hours. Two hours. Yeah. But, but does, does, two, does two hours cater for for typing? Because some of us <laughs> cannot type quickly. <laughs> look, look, it's uh, it uh, it cater for that, and I can tell you, you will finish in time. Okay. <laughs> if if because the biggest problem that students always have is that we don't understand the course, and it takes time for us to read and understand the statement. And I can tell you, after these classes, you will you you will. Uh, you will want to write the exam immediately. So uh, speed is not going Sorry. to be the problem. Sorry, sir. Is yes. there anything you would like us to read before tomorrow's lesson from our study yeah. guide? Look, tomorrow I'm still going to proceed with the bank reconciliation statement. You can you can just read around the bank reconciliation statement. Don't go. Uh, don't go further than chapter three. Don't okay, go further than you. chapter three uh, for the manual. No, no sorry. Let me just. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> don't go further than chapter four. Chapter four, okay. Yeah, don't go further than chapter four. You can read everything before then, and then the rest of the things, and I will take you through. Okay. And um, on your introductory remark, Yes. You mentioned that on the supplementary cash book, uh, on the debit side, for example, we can put positive and then on the credit negative. Is that yes. necessary on the exam or is it just for me to remember? You, I, I always say, uh, look, when many students, they will write uh, it is like that in the exam and uh, they have not been punished, but you always say, Make it for you to remember. Your your work look very neat if you don't write the tapis and the credit, but you will not be punished for writing it anyway. Okay, thank you. Sorry, advocate. Okay. Yes, uh, with regards to the bank reconciliation statement in the exam, would it be incorrect if we do not use the standard format? but only resort to using the layout uh, that is similar to the bank statement. Look, bo both layout are correct. Why okay. I prefer the standard format is that when you use the standard format, you will see you, you get the transaction, you calculate subtotal and subtotal and subtotal until the last one. So okay. many times you find that they give you a mark for that subtotal. And okay. most of the time, if you use the bank statement layout, if you don't know how to use it, uh, recording those subtotal, you will not record them. And unfortunately, you will get everything on the uh, bank statement. If the standard format gives six marks, yes. then 
on the on the bank statement layout, you are not able to record those two subtotals. Then you miss those two marks, but you'll still get everything correct, but less two marks. Okay. Advocate, advocate. If I might, if I can assist gift as well for accounting, because what you might get sometimes, you get that you don't balance, and when you don't yeah. balance, if you've got the other uh, amounts correctly, you will still be marked correctly for them. Correct. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, thanks a lot, man. Oh, yeah, sure. Advocate. Yes, in, yes. In your in your standard format, uh, I you, you don't have to reflect the debit and the credit side. No, you don't have to reflect the debit and the credit side. Your narrations must say everything. If it's a debit, we'll see with a less. If it's a credit, okay. we'll see with an add or or or, or plus. Okay. No, it's covered. Okay. Okay. Any question again? What time are we starting tomorrow? <laughs> uh, let's start at five. We, okay. Yeah, we're supposed to start at five. Let's all start at five. I believe things tomorrow will, will work out. We'll start immediately at five o'clock. Let's all uh, uh, connect at five. Hmm. Right. Okay. Uh, th th thank you, Advocate. Now you must go <laughs> home so that you don't miss your curfew. No, I must go home. I must drive fast when I leave here. <laughs> you know, no, we have for, forgiven you. We were upset with you, uh, advocates. Now we, <laughs> well, we have I, I, you. Happy. you know, you know what was the nice thing? Yeah. The nice thing is that we could hear you speaking with your anger, but you couldn't hear us. <laughs> yeah, we, we were very much frustrated, advocate. Otherwise, if you were in front of us, we could have done something terrible. So very understandable. Yeah? Uh, no, no, I suggest that the, the, the gentleman speaks for himself. We are not that kind of best people. We are not violent. We are not violent. I know many. <laughs> One last thank you. question before you leave, advocate. Okay. I just wanted to find out if we're studying at five, will we be done it by eight, or should we expect to go beyond eight o'clock in the evening? Look, I will say we should be done before half past eight. Okay, advocate. Let me let me let me say that so that I'm safe. Uh, so that I don't just say uh, eight and then uh, when we push and then you're gonna beat beat the hell out of me. <laughs> no, thank you, sir. All right. All right. Okay. okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot, guys. And then let's meet again tomorrow. Thank you, advocate. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, advocate. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I earlier asked what the pass rate was for for this course. Not that I doubt myself. Uh, we've got uh, we've got more than eighty percent pass rate. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm confident I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, not definitely. <laughs>